<clears throat> but sometimes we make too much of completions and territory and penalties, but that changed drastically in your favour in the second half. Is that the basis for the win? Yep. Um, those type of things cost us last week too. And I thought we you know, addressed it through the week, but um, that first 40 minutes, um, we're doing the same thing and we are able to sharpen up in the second half and put some pressure back on them with field position and ball control, and um, that's why we're here. You gave eight penalties away in the first half, one in the second. Did you talk about a big picture at half-time? Um, yes, but it was pretty self-explanatory. I didn't have to um, elaborate too much. Um, like I said, on the back of last week, I was really disappointed, but um, also give them a wrap, but being only 12-0 down, um, there was a set there at 20 minute mark, which I thought was the game there and then. Um, if we can see it a try then, um, I reckon she's a long way back. Um, but we showed some grit and resilience and thought our condition showed through towards the back end um, and just proved <clears throat> again to the squad, if we can play the game the right way, you know, we're not a bad team. Did you feel chat at half time that's not too bad to be down 12 mil, as strange as that sounds? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I agree with Todd. I think, you know, while we're down 12 nil, I still thought we were well and truly in the game. And I, th I agree. I thought there was a turning point in that 20 minute mark where we defended them and found, found something. And then at half time, we spoke about we just cut out those discipline, those little penalties, um, especially when they were coming out their own end, that we could, you know, get our game on. And I felt like we made that adjustment in the second half. And, you know, we, we got our game on and we were good enough to come over the top. Jason Talmala and Josh Papali through the middle today. Josh finishes 72 minutes play, 227 metres. Was he the, your best today? Yeah, I thought he led the team really well. I think he had 23 carries. I don't know how many metres he made, but he played you know, a lot of time in the park. Um, you know, and, and Jace is a leader through his actions. Um, the players love having him on the park with them. Um, I thought his dummy half work was really good. Um, <laughs> But, you know, he also defended and moved really well. Um, put a couple of tough efforts, you know, inside pressure at late back end of the game. So, you know, he's got his motor going and, um, you know, he's got a bit of continuity in his footy and, um, yeah, he's, he, he was really strong for us. Pretty you told me that this side's about character. That's what you're yeah. trying to instill in the character. That was character. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, we've worked hard on that over the pre-season, you know, throwing curveballs at the team at different stages, real surprises and some real mental challenges, not just physical. Um, and that was to equip them for the season ahead. You know, we've got some kids and they had to learn quick and they're still learning. Um, but we try to put them under as much mental pressure as physical pressure during this off-season. Your Raider number one, 180 on that board here. You come down here, you beat the Raiders twice in this season. Hmm. Do you have what are your feelings about the Raiders? Um, oh, look, they'll always be a part of me. Um, I loved being in town the last couple of days. I caught up with a lot of friends and family and just driving around town. It's a beautiful town, it's just too cold. Um, <laughs> and then the weather was actually quite mild you know um, and our guys actually really enjoyed the change of temperature it's it's really warm back home still and um, you know I heard a couple of comments at training um, yesterday that you know was, you know they were enjoying it so yeah it was good what do you think the side has to do to improve oh, I'm not not too fast really about what they've got to do I just really focused on us being consistent with our game. So, did Nano sort of almost embody that performance now? Yes, he gave away the four penalties in the first half, but scored obviously the winning try for it. Yeah. <coughs> he was the one player I was concerned about at half time because, you know, everyone else was engaged and he was just inside his own head a little bit. Um, you know, try to be positive with him individually. Um, and then I asked Chad and, and Peter Hiku, who defend either side of him, to to try and draw him back into the game just with some positive talk. And um, again, he's learning. He's 19. Um, you know, and different times he looked really tired and 
he's going to have some ups and downs as a kid, but um, you know, I thought he played tough in that second half and um, did some really classy things. You know, some of his inside pressure, kick pressure on on Jack White and, and the way he moves off leads, um, he's as good as I've seen in that department, and he's really skillful with the ball. Chad, what's it been like that this season? You know, Thursday night in Canberra on the road, um, three three seven two and fours. And- it sounds a little bit big difference. What does it do for the team? Yeah, it was, it was huge. Um, obviously, three and three sounds a lot better than two and four. And I think, you know, I think we should be probably, you know, maybe four and two, to be honest. Uh, maybe even five and one. You know, we've lost two of our games by two points and one point. Um, we were pretty disappointed with the loss last week. We did enough to win the game, um, to lose in Golden Point. We pretty much threw those two points in the bin, I thought. And we wanted to come out here and and have a reaction, show a reaction. We had a really good week of training. Obviously, it's quite a big trip down here and it's not easy to, to come away with a win. And I just think our character shone through. Um, it really, you know, to be 12 points down, uh, the hard work we've put in in the preseason, uh, the DNA of this group, I thought shone through tonight and, um, you know, really happy with the results. So three and three, you know, we're, we're a lot happier that, and, um, you know, we, we head back home next week and, you know, play the Titans. So, how we move forward? Yeah, I was just, I'm really proud of the effort from the lads. That's our fourth six day turn in a row. You know, we went Sunday, Friday, you know, Saturday, uh, sorry, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, yeah. working backwards. Um, and we've had one main training day each, each of those. We've had two travels back to back. Um, yeah, so we've shown something, you know, so that's what pleases me. Did you sense any fatigue? Because you said this was the condition actually felt really good. Um, there are different moments in the last couple of weeks where I reckon different individuals will look tired different days. Um, we've tried to um, be smart around their loads and volume and speeds. Um, but, you know, the players have still got to get out and, you know, and, and do the work. And they've got it done. And, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're sitting here three and three and pretty happy. Speaking about loads of time, uh, Jason got through 72 minutes tonight. Is that the plan? Is it horses? Horses? Do you decide each week and what are you planning to run Pretty much. We we go we go in with the plan. Um, plans around him getting a rest either side of half time, but just I just we just make a feel judgment call on the way he's moving. Um, yeah, and the flow of the game and the involvements and the quality of his involvements and you know we thought he was you know tracking along pretty well at the 30 30 32 minute mark so we just left him out there we're a big bloke for a little bit what are you seeing in Tommy Dean Chad? yeah look I've been um you know really I guess not surprised by the way he's been playing to be honest I uh, really enjoyed my time with him throughout you know the pre-season and the early exchanges of the season uh, he's a great kid wants to learn the game trains unbelievably hard um, and his dedication to his craft and wanting to be better you know is second to none so we wanted to bring out you know when we spoke about playing together bringing out each other's strengths and you know I think Tom is playing to the strength of his game at the moment and that's why we're seeing you know some of the football that he's playing and like I said it doesn't surprise me and you know we're still working hard on our combination um, like everyone is but you know, I still think we've got a lot of improvement in us. Thanks, guys. Hey, mate, you good? Yeah,